Verbal tunes. Fast Euro cars. BMW has some of the coolest and most elegant looking, some of the most known Euro cars. Today, we are going to be racing every single one of the best BMWs. Hey! There's a reason that downpipes and a tune is the setup for every single car. We're doing one of every single M series car. I'm not actually, I'm not actually racing this car. This car is actually on drift tires right now. You don't have to stay tuned if you want to find out which one. I wish I could remake my other video of drifting every BMW. The one difference is, if you guys know, I am playing on the G920. We don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you we don't care. I'm very excited to drive that car. I have no idea. Again, like I edited these cars for this video. I don't even think I've raced either of them. I got a new body kit for the M3 that I chose, hint, hint. And there was also new pieces on the M5 that I didn't even know existed in this game. The wet race is not helping. The wet race is not helping. Me. I might go to hood view on this race, really dial in. All right, we know this, oh gosh. Ninth, not the best. Yeah, but we make up for it. Sixth. That Jeep Wrangler almost took my life. That Jeep Wrangler almost took my life. We have to be in like second as we go into the highway run. So let's make up for time here. That's good. Come on, come on, push, push M2. I don't know where the guy is behind me. Oh my gosh, it's the 42. Oh, I guess that. Hey, I'll take fourth is way better than seventh. So I will take that. So let's go straight on to the M3. The M2, like we, ugh, dude, I don't know why we we got, look at this, look at this, look at this, I can't even speak. Look at this grid. C8, C8, 4GT, M2, C8. Who is running their mower, bro? All right, let's go into our second, as of right now, on the bridge. We're on the board. The M2, technically, I guess, gets first place because there's no other cars to compare to it. Okay, so let's hope that we don't have to race a bunch of bozos and American cars, but we're going to. Oh my gosh, GT2 RS, Celine. Oh my gosh, wait, GT3 RS, Heath. <laughs> Ford Mustang Hot Wheels. Okay, so there's some more goofy cars in here, but it's definitely not um, anything unbeatable. I don't know how the power ban on this car is. I might have been able to brake less on that turn just because of how good the handling on this car is. But the Selena 7 in front of me. Oh, okay, we gotta take this turn. Good no brake, good no brake. Okay, no break on this one. Hit that checkpoint. I told you the turbo was gonna be trouble. No! Come on, keep on it. You gotta tap this checkpoint. Tap it, yes! Let's go, we got the checkpoint tap. We might be able to get this. We might be able to get this. Come on, first point! Let's go! Come on, let's go! Oh my gosh! What an ending to the race. That was pretty good. There was only a couple of times where I was like, well, what the hell? All right, so let's go straight on. Uh, I guess that means I'm actually not only because we came in first place, but also I low-key like it better because it's a little bit faster. 
Now the M3 is taking first place. Let's go into the M4. So the, for the M4, we're racing the M4 GTS, which is a F82 model. I'm very excited about it. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if I've really drove this car a lot. I was gonna pick the G80, but I figured I'd switch it up. It says GTS on the back. That is so fire. Dude, that is so fire. Ah, oh, dude, that's so cool. I was thinking about doing hood view with this car, but it's not, nah, dude. I gotta do it from, from the back. Ah, what did he say? So hopefully, first try, I can get first place with this car. Cause this car, this is like a step up in the sense, I believe the speed on this should be significantly better than the last two while keeping the good handling. I'm not even going into the starting grid. We're going straight into this. It looks like a bunch of Boopy ah American cars as per usual. Oh yeah, I can feel the power on this baby. Why is there a 599 Ferrari drift car in this race? We're in sixth. Okay, buddy, buddy, buddy. Gotta go over this Expo. Why are, why is Forza addicted to adding this goofy uh, Expo car in here? To like all the races, it's such a goofy car. I don't think I've seen one BMW. This thing is screaming, it sounds so good. We don't need a break there. We're getting good here. We're on this Expo's but he's gonna break here and we're gonna break off. Yes, max out that power band, let's go. What, that's a finish? Bruh. No, we're not gonna get above the 4GT. Oh, fifth. That car felt good. I barely, I felt like I barely drove it. It felt a little bit better than the M2, but I feel like the M3's race was so glorious. I don't know if I could put it above the M3. I don't know if I could put it above the M3. So for that reason, our listing now, and then I'm gonna wait for this lawnmower to go by. So now we're gonna go with M2 is gonna be number three, just cause the speed was not up to par. We really need a better speed. M3 will do as number one, and M4 we will do as number two. I'm not gonna lie, the M5, I hope the race is like 10 years. I could just look at this car for 10 years. This car, the way I customized it, it looks spectacular. The F90 M5 looks insane. I can't, I, I don't have a controller connected. I can't look around the car. Hold up guys, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, what the okay, look at this thing, bro. Look at, I put that front splitter on there. We got the side skirts on there, even though they're barely there. We got the carbon fiber back diffuser. We got the bronze rims with the red color. You can barely see it because it's nighttime, but it looks, Five. The M5, we're, we're next to a Centenario, what the heck? Should I have shifted sooner, but it's all good. It's okay, we'll, we'll rock these guys. Okay, I don't know what's going on in the beginning of the race. The Goopy R Drift 350Z hit the car. Okay, we went. Kind of cheated there. Focus, focus up, phase up. Fees up. Fees up. Okay. Nice. There was no need to rear end me. Yeah, how's it feel? How's it feel? How's it feel, AIs? Chat GPT cars. All right, we lost two positions over that. Kind of sucks. Now three. That 
the Forza Horizon way. Don't brake fully, just rely on the force of your car going into another car to break you. This Viper wants the smoke, dude. Nice. Yeah, this is the finish, bro. We getting first! We getting first! Pull that e brake. Okay, M5 looking mighty fine. I mean, like, when is it not looking mighty fine? M5 is definitely number one. I think M3 definitely comes in second, so we're gonna change. M2 is now number four. M4 is now number three. M3 is now number two. And M5 is now number one. Um, thing. I have no idea how the M6 is gonna handle. The M5, I'm not surprised at all. I don't think the M6 has a chance to beat the M5. I think in all reality, what's going to happen with this race is the M6 will probably finish third. Uh, well, I, that's probably the biggest contender. I don't know if the M6 can beat the M3. I think it possibly can beat the M4, but I really don't think it can beat the M5 or the M3. We're next to an F12. Yeah, we're already spinning. This car does sound good. I won't lie about that. Okay. But see, this is what I mean. Look at all in front of us. It's like, C8, C8. I think there's three C8s in front of me, out of, and I'm in fifth place. If I were to take an average of all these races and of, like, the cars that were being selected, four GT would be, like, selected, like, one in every, like, 12 cars. C8 would be selected probably, like, one in every, like, dude, it's like this ongoing battle. I'm trying to talk while I race rather than doing a voiceover just to kind of, like, switch it up, but it makes it so much harder. Because, especially because I'm not really the best racer, obviously. I just got this sim wheel. And, like, the most I've ever done is, like, what, race go-karts or something? It's like, um... Yeah, it's a little bit different there, Vaughn. Plus, you guys know I was a very big drift kid, not really a big um, sim racer kid. Like, I, I didn't really do a lot of racing. I did more drifting than racing. I still suck at drifting on this thing. Don't get me wrong, though. Definitely good investment, though. Here we go. We're right on this C8's tail now. One late break later, and we got it. Little bit of a collision. Come on. Yes, we're faster than the C8. Okay, there's a 90 degree turn up here, though. That was actually a hell of a 90 degree turn I took. I don't think we're gonna catch up to first and second. Yeah, no. We'll take third, though. That was actually a stellar race for us. The M6, what? I'm surprised. I don't think it's... It's a very... It's very calm. You can't just smash the throttle. A lot of these cars, you could just smash the throttle. And you won't spin out. This car, you do have to pay attention to your throttle input. What is our ragnar? Where do we put the M6? I don't know. I feel like the M4 is low-key just like, I'm only like, I'm not hating on it, it's just, it's not as good. So the M2 I'm gonna put in fifth. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Now, is it better than the M4? Yes, I'm saying it is, it was. And that might have just been from like my mods, but the M6 did feel really good. I liked driving that car. So now we have first place is M5, second place is M3, third place is M6, fourth place is M4, and fifth place is M2. If this is an M5 version of the M6 that we just raced, so basically a more grippy M6, this can be number one. Maybe we'll do this again. We'll do it, do it with the uh, different types of BMWs, but we'll do one M series in the future. Let me get, let me know what you guys liked, what you guys didn't like. 
Uh, let's let you see that starting grid, C8 of the wazoo. How do we have five, five C8s and a Ford RS200? What in the world is that? A Ferrari 430 Scuderia, that's actually normal. Oh, no, six. I didn't even see the one on the bottom. Oh, there's all these C8s. Oh my gosh, it's C8 world. What is, I'm getting overtaken by it. another C8. That was not pretty, I'm not proud of it. But we'll take it because it happened. What a takeover. Takeover. I do not promote takeovers. I know there's a 180 degree turn coming up. Just like that, we're in first place. This car is actually pretty good. I should not have hit that traffic on. No, no, no. No, that's not you, bro. Dude, the anti-lag is going crazy. All right, there's, um... I always... I actually hit that 180 turn, I'm surprised. I usually always lose the position to those. Oh my gosh, and then we just squeezed in there. The final stretch, that traffic car screwed over my turn. Yes, easy first place to end off the video. Let's get it, baby. I, I feel really like that. That was the most light race I've ever done. But that's going to be it for today's video. The final scoreboard coming in last place. We're in sixth. We're going to have the M2. Then in fifth place, we're going to have the M4. The M4 was a little bit too slidey for me. Plus, I didn't have a lot of experience driving it. The race I picked kind of sold it out. The M6 takes fourth. M3 coming in third. Great car. The wide body kit they just added. Stellar. M5 number two. And of course, our number one spot goes to the M8. The last race we just did was so calm and collected, it'd be hard for me to say it wasn't the M8. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like the video. That's why I know that you guys like these type of videos, but I'll see you in the next one. Peace.